good morning. All work and no play makes luck for dull girl. Hello. So proper good morning. Doesn't this just look crazy? I'm going to wear this today because, you know, I quite like it. Yeah. Um, it's Friday. It's my last day of work. <laughs> right. I'm going to show you all this going out. It's half past seven, by the way, so I'm starting early today. I better write that down, actually, 7.30, so I'll do that in a second. Right, so going out, we've got a big chunk of chain collar length necklace. That went for £10.19. Pence. A job lot of random pendants. I uh, took an offer of £9 on those. Someone's going to craft well with them. A little set of shell this. Um, earrings, necklace and bracelet handmade set went auction for $9.99. This one surprised me. It's not silver, it's just silver tone, but it's a um, necklace with a heart toggle and then a matching bracelet as well. I started them off at $6.99 at auction and went for £14.50. And that's why I do auctions, because sometimes things just surprise you like that. Uh, an abalone shell talk. Bracelet went for £6.79. A little Art Deco sparkly necklace went for £11.04. A Peruna shirt went for £5.09p. Some vintage clip on earrings with a faux pearl centre went for £8.49. This gorgeous um, Silver Royal Edinburgh Hospital brooch. Hallmark 1971. That went for £31.99. <coughs> oh, I didn't get the ring out. There's um, a sterling silver ring as well. I need to get that out. That went for £22.94. I'll show you that in a second. Snake, Snakey McSnake face bracelet went for £11.99. An Art Deco style chain with green bead stations went for £10.55. And the last little chain went for £10.19 and I'll just go and grab you that ring and some other stuff. Right, so here's that ring. Now, my mum fancied this ring, but it didn't fit her. Isn't that gorgeous? Art Deco fan twist ring. Look at the way it catches the light there. That is just stunning. So that's going to a magpie. Hello. And then... To another magpie and her daughter, having the bow brooch yacht, the Art Deco bow brooch, the Etruscan ball necklace, and her daughter fancied, well I so tastefully modelled yesterday so I'm throwing that in as well, because why not, and the um, another, all you magpies, you're terrible, um, yeah, some, the Kit Heath ones that go in there, lovely. And then the really unusual Jerusalem cross, the one that does that craziness. Love it. So those were Etsy sales as well, there. So good day yesterday. Right, I need to package these up quick because ideally I want to be on. I'll show you in a minute. I'm on a bus. I'm bunking off. <laughs> Don't tell the boss. <laughs> I'm in a charity shop. This is the book section. I found one open in Puffball. I'm so excited. Well, I just spent £40 in that charity shop. It's the only one open in Puff Hall. So I'm going to take a quick look down the high street here. This is John Street. My parents used to run a news agent at the bottom 
of the street so I know Puthco quite well because I used to get the bus here on a Saturday when I was like eight, nine, ten years old and come and hang out and go to the beach but there's Costa just over there and I've also brought um, some letters with me saying that I'll buy jewellery oh my god look at this dress look at that um, and I'm going to post some letters and get a coffee because why not Sure Trust Jewellery 13 July having a tasty coffee with some cream because just like I said yesterday I, I got no time for bad coffee Costa was shut so and I also treated myself from Holland and Barrett to hazelnut butter peanut butter hazelnut butter crunchy hazelnut butter and oh my god it is freaking divine I mean that is better than Nutella the original price on it was four ninety nine, reduced to two forty nine. I wouldn't be spending a fiver on that, but still tasty. And then this is what I bought from the charity shop. It's not going to be amazing, and I spent forty quid on it. And it's more to kind of um, chat up the manager and go, look, I buy regular jewellery, so you know, sort me out. Um, I might go live. Uh, later probably after the ladies and show everything that I've bought it's not going to be exciting I just know there's a load of bangles in there which I can sell but again I'll be all right it's more for the thrill of it it felt so good going into a charity shop and going I want to buy stuff give me things to buy and that's what I did and it was great just toasted myself some of my brioche and put on some of that on that butter. Let's give it a try. Mm. That is the future. Mm. Honestly, that is so much nicer than Nutella. Beautiful. Right, just for Shelly. Got some low carb crackers, some pate, some halkaliki olives, and I'm gonna have some of these cheeses, pub cheese, and a coffee, and some Pepsi Max. And then I'm gonna do some listing, probably. Mm. Right, feeling good, feeling fresh, feeling ready to list. Woo! I mean, okay, I'm still not excited about listing, but I feel ready to do some. So I picked out a bag of random stuff because random is a lot nicer of an idea than 30 pairs of earrings, which I will do at some point. Just don't fancy doing it today. So I've got a bunch of watches that I'm going to list individually, including where's it going? It's quite rare, 1950s. It's just um, it's called Aruga. Um, I'm selling these all as fairs and repairs, but I'd expect to get at least 30 quid for that one apparently, so that's cool. And then some random bits and bobs, like a bunch of grapes, a bunch of grapes, amethyst with a, a metal leaf, bizarre, a little lot of tie clips and pins and things. A snail with a crystal back. A rather cool Murano glass ring. A glass ring with a Rivoli stone in it. And it's stamped Murano on the side. I just think that's quite cool. Quite unusual. And um, a Ligolas pet shop. And then just a bunch of other random things like the Nowl ring and some mooses, mooses, meese, and scarf rings and stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to list a bunch of random stuff this afternoon because that's what I fancy doing.
because I am my boss. I fired my boss and I became my boss and my boss is great because it's me. Hooray! It's the weekend. Woo! It's gone four o'clock, which means that I am not working anymore because, you know, who works up four o'clock on Friday? Apart from, you know, quite a lot of people. But anyway, um, yeah, super happy, especially because I managed to go out shopping today, which, you know, is the best part of the job. And, you know, it is part of the job. And it is the part of the job that keeps us motivated to do the sucky parts of the job. And I think that was my downfall this week, is thinking that I could do only the sucky parts without the enjoyable parts. And there's not a chance. There's no way that I could stay in every day and just list. Even with stuff being sent to me, it's just not the same. Because, you know, you can like that stuff. You, it's the treasure hunt. That's the fun. That's the bit that we love, isn't it? Anyway, do you want my stats? No. <laughs> right, okay. So, as of just now, I have worked this week... Um, and that includes the three hours of sourcing this morning. Okay. I didn't include the me going live bit. Okay. But I did include the, you know, the travel to the shop and buying things and then travel back and stuff. Anyway, including all that, I worked 37 and a half hours. So technically two and a half hours over. Over time, double pay. This week I managed to do 100 Etsy listings, 195 eBay listings. Um, it doesn't put me a month ahead on my auctions because I start 10 new auctions every night, but I am scheduled up until the 12th of July. I will obviously do some more before then because the pubs are meant to open here in Wales on the 13th of July. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I'll do a day of listing and I'll knock out, stay like another 70 listings and get myself, you know, another week ahead. And I'll only do that. I mean, basically I was doing that before, one day of listing a week. Why did I think I could do more than that? Yeah. Um, I didn't clear my death pile. It's still there. There's about 450 items over there. I don't mind that. I really don't. It would have been nice to clear it all, but I think that was asking a lot. And obviously I didn't do my accounts either, because, but I will do them at some point in August. Okay. Um, from the uh, one, 295 listings that I've done this week, it has generated 210 pounds worth of sale. So that's 210 on top of what I would normally have taken. The last time I did this, I worked out like a rough hourly rate. So I've done that again as well. So my turnover across my eBay and Etsy stores was £1,387. I take off half as fees and costs and postage and things like that. So I say that I run at a 50% margin. I don't, I actually run more like a 60% margin, but for this, I'm saying 50%. So my profits are actually better than what I'm going to tell you right now. That's between you, me and the tax man. Um, anyway, so my um, approximate profit is £848. So working on an hourly rate, I earn £22.62 per hour. That's all right. I'm quite happy with that. As me, yes, Beckett, you're on a bigger hourly rate than that, aren't you? Hey, my lovely girl, my lovely girl. You're so gorgeous. You are so gorgeous. Yeah, you come for cuddle. Oh, Superman stretch. Yay. Sorry. Anyway, distracted by cats always. Um. Yeah, so I'm really chuffed with that. I know I have failed in some respects and I wanted to achieve possibly too much. 
and I found out things that I already knew, such as listening is okay for one day of the week, and that is all I'm going to do. So I was right with my practices before. Just do one day a week of the shitty stuff and enjoy all of the rest of the stuff because that makes the shitty stuff bearable. Like this afternoon, I blasted out 30 listings. Yesterday it was a chore, today it was a doddle. And that's just how it goes, isn't it? Yeah. So, happy with that. I've got Indian coming. Um, what have I ordered tonight? Slightly different than normal. I'm having a sag bhaji as well, which is basically like spinach. And um, what else am I having? Oh, and a shashlik something with egg on it. Don't know, never had it before, but it's the end of the week and I'm going to give it a go. Tomorrow I'm off to Carla's, so I'll probably vlog the day then as well because now it's the weekend and I can actually enjoy it. Like, it's a weekend because I worked Monday to Friday. That's such a novelty now, isn't it? Yay. But yeah, so that's it for today. I'm super chuffed. Me and Azami are going to have a little dribbly cut. Thanks for all that dribble, Azami. You are a delight. Yeah, you just continue dribbling on my leg there. It's beautiful. I'm going to sneeze. No. Um, come here. Come here and say goodbye. Come on. Right. And until next time. Uh, bye bye now. Azami, say hello. She's like, don't piss off. <laughs> uh, bye bye now. Bye bye.